Take it about a place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us see Hi, this is Mary and Megan from Mary Stamping Happenings and today it's Tips and Techniques Tuesday and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the new Stamping Up Envelope Punch Board. This is a board where you can create 62 whatever many envelopes you have. All the card sizes are here and what you'll need. But I'd also tell you, here's the instructions, their photo instructions, read them. Because I decided not to read the instructions at first and I went a little off. But what you were going to do is you're going to, right here it says the card size. So whatever card size you want, it's right here. And this tells you how, the next one tells you the paper size that you need. You can either use your designer series paper or you can use your um, regular card stock. And this is the score line. This is the only one. You're only going to need it once. And it's right in here. It's up to uh, five inches. And it goes from a two by three and a half inch card, a little gift card, to a six by eight and a half inch card. So that's a pretty big card. So we're going to be doing three envelopes today. Uh, we're going to do um, a common three by three card that's a, a regular gift card. So what it says to do is you have a five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock or a piece of paper so I've got that and then what you're going to do is you come down here and it says three by three so you're going to line it up on the score line at two and five ace so that's right there now the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to punch that out you're going to take your little stylus and there is, you'll see it right here, it runs all the way up. You just put it right in there and you just run it. Now this is the thing that got me confused because I would have thought you would just gone over and did the three and five eighths inch again, but you don't. What you do is you can see, first of all, it cuts out a little thing right here, but you can see where you scored it. Well, where you score it, there is a score guide right here. And you're going to line that score up with that score guide. So you're just going to put that in there. And you're going to line that up right there. You're going to punch it again. And you're going to score it. Then you're going to move it again. You're going to line up that score guide right there, punch it, score it, move it, line it, punch it, score it, and you're done. Now what you can do is see this side, this is called the reverse punch. You're going to just put your ends in there and these round off your ends. Just like that. Then you're going to take, eh, I want that side out. Just fold them in, just like that. And just like that. And then I use snail. And you're going to just snail this and snail that just on the edges. Fold this in, fold that in. There you have a nice little envelope for a 3x3 three three card. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an envelope for your standard four and a quarter by five and a half. And they say it's 
They've got a four and a quarter by five and a half, eight and eight, but I'm just going to go just a little bit more. The A2 envelope is eight and a half by eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. So I cut this piece eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. And it says the A2, line it up at three and three quarters. So there's the three and three quarters. Punch, score, turn, line up, punch, score, turn, punch, score, turn, line up, punch, score. And then, and I noticed some of the envelopes because I used an envelope. I wanted to make an envelope for one of my uh, magic cards. Uh, and I had to cut some of these flaps off. So before you do that, you just may want to see if you're doing a different size envelope, whether or not you need to cut the flaps off. And there you go. And again, I'm just going to run snail on the end here, the edge right there, and on the edge right here. Fold that over. Fold that over. Nice, quick. What I do to put on here, if you want to mail it, is just use a small um, two and three quarters by um, one inch or by two inches, just a small address label. Now, one of the ones that I like making is a card four by four, but you can't ever find an envelope. Now you can make your own envelopes. And they say use for a four by four, use a piece of paper six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. And you're going to go out to three and a half. And again, punch, score, turn, line up, punch, score, turn, line up, punch, score, turn, line up, punch, and score. And let's just go in like this. Let me tell you, lately I've been using a lot of my retired designer series paper because I am in the envelope making business. And sooner, pretty soon, I'll show you there's ways you can make boxes and other things with this. But again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the snail on the edge of this, fold it, fold it, and you have a perfect envelope for your 4x4 four four card. Isn't that beautiful? Thanks for visiting. Happy stamping! Get about a place, it'll take creation.